How are you doing? This is the radio guy, the Dr. Mike Prince, with a very special edition of the Mike Prince Show. And of course, I come to you each and every day right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We've been trying to be somewhat of a voice for PV Nation and beyond uh, for quite some time now, uh, celebrating my 30th year of broadcasting. Of course, I have done uh, a lot with a little and we do it with pride, do it with excellence, and the most part we take pride in is doing it with accuracy, which leads me to today's episode um, in regards to an episode that I let off on yesterday in regards of the whispers of Southern Jag Nation preparing to make an attempt to lure Eric Dooley. Now, for whatever reason, people have interpreted that story, that episode, as Mike Prince going rogue. It is the United States of America. You are entitled to your opinion and interpretation. But when I report something, I make sure that I cross-reference, dot I's, cross T's before I release it. And I even try to go to the appropriate source in the event of our beloved Prairie View A&M University. And they could either acknowledge it, deny it, or no response and that has been somewhat of the case no response so therefore as providing relevant information in regards of Prairie View A&M University the Southwestern Athletic Conference the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference or any other program that we cover here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, I make sure that I do due diligence before I release anything. Now, you don't have to like the release. You don't even have to accept the release. But the truths are the truths. Now, for whatever reason, It has been circulating that I, Michael Prince, have been creating havoc, have been causing problems in regards to Prairie View A&M University and the athletic department. The number one problem that I am going to dispel right now, I've been quiet long enough, I've taken the high road long enough, But we're going to let the truth be told today. Not that I have not told the truth, but I'm going to give you a little bit deeper on the truth being truly the truth. And after that, you can take it for whatever it's worth. You can take it for how you want to take it. It is what it is. In regards to our baseball coach, Antoine Riggins. I have supported Antoine Riggins from the first day he stepped on campus. I made sure that his program was covered. I made sure that he had the support as a former baseball player, a graduate of Prairie View. I made sure that he felt welcome, informed, educated and got his story out you can cross reference that you can check with him for yourself I never commanded requested pleaded or rallied that Antoine Riggins be removed from his position as head coach as Prairie View A&M University Although administration made sure 
that the staff got informed that it was I, Michael Prince, who requested that. That is myth number one. I was on this network stating after the SWAC baseball tournament that we should rally around this brother and support this brother to see what the end's going to be. That's a fact, ladies and gentlemen. And I have witnesses that was in the meeting of the said time that this was supposed to go that I said nothing to the fact. I just want that to be out there. Since we're talking about Mike Prince going rogue, if you go back and the beauty about what I do, it is all chronicled on my daily show. These are facts. I have nothing to hide. That's why it's called the Mike Prince Show. Now, you don't have to like what I'm saying, but at least hear me out and you determine what's what. Since January 10th, 1988, I have bought into Prairie View Produces Productive People. I believe that to the very core of my soul. What that means to me might not mean anything to anyone else. It might mean something totally different to you. But what it means to me is this. If Prairie View produces productive people, there are certain expectations that I have for my university. There is a certain way that things should sound, a certain way that things should look. There's a certain way that things should go. Prairie View produces productive people. Also says to me, standards. There are certain standards that govern the PV way. And I am okay with that. But let's make sure that the standards are across the board. Let's make sure that if it's going to happen for the gander, it's going to happen for the goose. Prairie View produces productive people also means pride. And I'm not talking about the type of pride that has you missing heaven, but I'm talking about a pride that will give you the opportunity to stand for what you know to be right when it comes to defending the honor of our beloved Prairie View A&M University. Prairie View produces productive people also means loyalty to me. I can't speak for any other institution, nor do I desire to speak for any other institution. And whether I know you or not, I have a certain level of respect for you because you've gone through the same trails that I've gone through. If you are a graduate or even a former student of Prairie View A&M University, we talk about standing on the truth. We talk about keeping it 100. But the moment we start speaking truth, the moment we start trying to keep people informed, we are labeled as being rogue. We are labeled as being a troublemaker. We are labeled as being a stirrer upper. And that has nothing to do with anything. Another fact. I don't know where it started from. I don't even care where it started from. But I'm going to say this, and this will be the last time that I speak of it. Neither I nor Charles Porter have never had a cross word. We have never had a cross word. So the next time someone comes to Mike Prince saying, hey, what's up with you and Porter? Please leave it where you got it from. I can say unequivocally from Mike Prince's end, I have never had a crossword, no beef, no nothing with Charles Porter. That is another untrue. There is not one show 
that I have produced at this network or any other network I've been affiliated with that was not backed by facts. That's how I was trained in the communications department at KPVU at Prairie View A&M University, which led me to go work in other markets, which has led me to do what I do daily. I'm sorry if you don't get pom-poms, bells, and whistles every day from this platform. I'm sorry if it doesn't sound favorable as you think it should all the time. But one thing you could rest assured is that we are going to promote and support Prairie View A&M University, Rain, Sleet, snow or shine and if I can embrace you in the great days I ought to be able to embrace you in the rough days because that's what family is all about I don't know why and I don't have time honestly to focus on why and some of you won't receive this some of you will receive this That's entirely up to you. I've never had anything to hide. What you see is what you get. I know this show was definitely unique, unusual, and might even been bizarre. But this was for PV Nation only. If you want it out there, I'm pretty sure you'll put it out there. Until the next time, be blessed. We'll see you on the other side.